Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Steph AB TV. Now today, this is a good video. Now right behind me is the Abar 695 Biposto. And the one thing that's different with this to the normal car is this is what I like to call the unicorn version. What do I mean by that? Well, this specific car is running the dog ring box, the 8,500 pound optional extra. Now I'm gonna do my best to explain a little bit about the difference between a synchro box and the dog box once I get inside the car. But also I'm gonna be taking this out for a drive around Rockingham Speedway to see what the difference is like. Because as you guys all know, I've driven the Biposto Record Edition, which I absolutely loved. I'm now gonna take this one out with the dog box in it around the place where it should be driven, around a race circuit. So without further ado, here she is. Right, okay, so now as you can see, I have got my lid on, but more importantly, I'm here with Mike, and first thing I need to say is the ultimate plug, by the way, Mike, on the old Instagram. So if you Follow. want to know more about Mike, check him out on Instagram, <laughs> but Mike's here with me today. In fact, Mike, talk to me. Tell me about yourself, what have you done, and what you're here to show me. Uh, so I've done a couple of years of racing in the BTCC, yeah. British Touring Car Championship, so that was uh, 2016 and 2017. The budget for this stuff is a lot. It's very expensive. It's more expensive than these cars, yeah. I can tell you that, just for a season of racing. So um, I've gone into the Renault UK Clear Cup this year. Um, very similar car to this, about yeah. 200 horsepower, front yeah. wheel drive. So I'm kind of your man for this job. And that's uh, it. So, so Mike's with me for the duration of the day. And I specifically wanted to do this video because for me, when you look at a bar, this, this is on paper the ultimate 500 the Biposto itself with the dog box. <laughs> Mike, do you want to try and give me a bit more of an understanding as to the concept of these boxes and how you should drive them? So a dog ring box is essentially based on some of the gearboxes you'll find in a racing car. So as particularly older cars, to be honest, but it's bringing some of that language into a road car that, yeah. that you can use on a circuit. Um, the gears are all essentially connected by dog ring, dog collars. So they're a little bit notchy, but it literally means you can shift uh, pretty much without the use of a clutch and you can shift very quickly as well. Yeah, we should have a lot of fun toying with that today we And uh, obviously he's got a camera shot on it here, which you'll see it's, yeah. it's a proper piece of kit So all all the metals on show you've got lots of parts. It looks racy. And yeah. it's really really cool. So yeah. Let's go see how it works. Let's do it. Let's see what it's like. I'm looking forward to this. Let's do it <laughs> So the first couple of laps, I'm just gonna get a feel for the box feel what it's like to change gears and then uh, Mike's going to instruct me and teach me how to go around fast. I'm going to so try, yeah. You're going to try, yeah, and I'm going to try as well. So uh, let's see what this thing's like. Oh, that's already nice. It is, isn't it? It's clunky. It is a clunky box. <laughs> okay. The clutch is quite short, similar to what I've got in mind with the paddle yeah. clutch. There you are, that oh. mechanical wheel. <laughs> oh, mate. It's like going back to my Formula 4 days, that's it. <laughs> Those things are so quick, man. Yep. Oh my <laughs> word. Wow. Okay, so to explain how this feels, they're just so fast. That's it, grab second. I mean. They're just so quick. It's unbelievably good. It goes right in there, doesn't it? 
Trying to film a video and drive around rocket. Thank God there's only like three of us out on trek. <laughs> It's hard to explain. I mean, from a from a, a race experience, it's great. On the public road, I think this could be a bit of a challenge if I'm honest with you. Yeah. I think it'd be hard to live with, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But right now, this is where this exact a bath, the big posto with the dog box, was born to be. Yep. A bath have made it for this specific reason, and I'm out now driving it. And I mean, listen to the gear chain. It's like that. And you can do these, you can't you can do changes without the clutch as well, can't you? Yeah, you can. I'm gonna try and a little bit of finesse, that's all, but yeah. I'm gonna try it. So you kind of lift off the accelerator yeah, a bit just to try. Really? Right, just, I just went for the clutch. <laughs> <laughs> you you want to press the clutch. It feels you? alien, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's try that on again. The on the down straight. changes you want a little bit of clutch, definitely. Yeah, on the up, on the up changes, changes. You can just lift. Be all right. Right, let's try it on the Oh yeah, it's incredibly mechanical. So. Alright, I'm going to go second to third again now. Yeah, so we'll bring it off, that's it. Alright, let's do it. Just... There you go. <laughs> <laughs> go for all. There you are. Oh my word! <laughs> Think about all that time you'd save on a drag strip like that. Mate! It's got to be two tenths of change, easy. So keep it on the inside here as well, you don't want to roll up the top. Let's summarise this now. <laughs> From the, the difference between, I guess, a, a synchro mesh box to this out on a track, it just, it, it, I don't feel like I'm in a bath bipposto, if I'm honest with you. It's just, fe it, it feels like a full on race car. Yeah. I mean, the clicks, the clunks, you can even hear it whining a bit as well. Yeah, you get some of the noise through yeah. the mechanism. Oh, oh my word. Guys, this is amazing, and I would urge anybody, if you ever get the chance, I mean, just listen to that, if you ever get the chance to drive a dog ring Biposto, please do it, please do it. And also, if you ever get the chance to do a, a change of a gear without using the clutch, I mean, look, left foot's up. It's just insane. Yeah. Right, you're the man, you're the man. <laughs> you're welcome, mate. Right, so, you're gonna take me out in this now and show me what it's about. Definitely. Um, Enjoy guys because I'm sure it's going to be driven a lot harder than when I'm driving it <laughs> and I've missed the pits <laughs> There you go typical <laughs> right let's park up and switch over Oh, <laughs> oh my word mate <laughs> Okay, okay, oh my god, right, okay, how can I summarize that experience right there? So, in summary, the dog box on the Biposto is something that's completely out of this world. It costs an absolute fortune, however, eight and a half grand to put that optional extra on this car. Would I do it? Now, one or two things. I think for me personally, and I've said it in my, old, my Biposto record video, I would buy a Biposto as a second car. And for things like this, tracking it, it's absolutely insane. And the 8,000 pound optional extra probably is worth it if all this car's life is gonna do is be out on track. However, from a daily perspective, I'm not exactly sure whether I would fork out eight and a half grand for that box 
as a daily car. But then again, this is the only car out there at the moment that is street legal to have the dog ring gearbox. So um, a bath have clearly done something awesome here. I've had an absolute blast in this car. Honestly, it's been absolutely incredible. Massive shout out to Abar for letting me get out in the dog ring box, Biposto. Big shout out to Mike as well for taking me out as well, for being my instructor for the day. And yeah, a bath day, about to kick off. So uh, you'll see that video next. My name is Vince Steph, you guys have been awesome. Please subscribe, make me happy. And of course, I'm gonna see you all very soon on the next one. Thank you very much, bye bye.